don't spend a penny more. I need to assure stakeholders that the Electoral Act has no extra financial burden. Go in peace, Abakeleke High Court tells Governor David Umayi after I was dragged to court for defecting from the party where he won twice as governor. It is March, it is so we march, so march again towards, again the, new towards the new date for the much anticipated, the much anticipated APC, APC National, National Convention. Convention. This time they say the 26th of March is cast in, in stone. Also on political also update today, today, top opposition, top opposition parties, parties amending, fences, amending fences as the push for the, push the 2023, 2023 general election continues, general election continues, to, continues to, gather to gather momentum. There is I many 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 for you. Welcome. The first Welcome. Time to work. Now, Africa President Muhammadu Buhari signed the Electoral Amendment Bill into law. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, released a schedule of activities leading up to the 2023 general elections. Time was fast approaching. INEC hands were tied because the Electoral Act was not signed then. The mood of the nation was that of agitation and planned protest. All these now moved to the rest. The bill is signed in, and it was on Friday, February 25, 2022. The roads are near empty. It's February 26. INEC called an emergency meeting. It was the official announcement for the dates for the 2023 general election. Accordingly, the Presidential and National Assembly elections will now hold on Saturday, 25th February 2023, while the Governorship and State Houses of Assembly elections will hold two weeks later on Saturday, 11th March 2023. Conduct of party primaries, including the resolution of disputes arriving from them, Monday, 4th April 2022, to Friday, to Friday 3rd June 2022. 2022. Commencement of campaign by political parties for presidential and national assembly elections, Wednesday, 28th September 2022. Six, commencement of campaign by political parties for governorship and state assembly elections, Wednesday, 12th October 2022. A new law in place so new innovation is also expected. And we have no doubt uh, the capacity is there for us to transmit results from all the polling units. We announce an era of political intrigues, manipulations on our smarting this year. The party flags may also see come alive. Meanwhile, I Meanwhile, has advised political parties to adhere strictly to the timetable and schedule of activities as released by the commission. INEC chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu also said the new electoral act comes, in, comes with no extra financial body. Any political party that fails to comply with the timelines provided for in the timetable and schedule of activities, particularly with respect to the conduct of party primaries and the nomination of candidates, will not be expected to nominate candidates to the commission for election. Is there any extra cost? Not at this point. There is no extra cost attached to the implementation of the activities provided for by the Electoral Act 2022. Still talking about the Electoral Act Amendment Bill, the Inter-Party Advisory, Inter Advisory Council, IPAC, says the signing of the Electoral Act, Act Amendment, Bill Amendment Bill into law, uh, with uh, that, Nigeria has recorded a remarkable, remarkable milestone in its own political, political history. history. Nigerians, especially the political class, have been reacting to the signing of the amended electoral act by the president. The president has signaled to us that anyone who wants to come out to run now will not have an excuse to say the system is rigged, the system, the law is not favorable. The power now truly going back to the masses. This provides for a transparent manner in which elections will be conducted in Nigeria. One of the latest is coming from representatives of the 28 registered political parties under the banner of the Inter-Party Advisory Council, IPAC. This media engagement by the council is to celebrate Nigerians on the path of what members described as historic and long-awaited Electoral Act 2022. It is a watershed moment, mind fundamental, and revolutionary departure from the, from the age-long order of practices in the nation in the electoral processes. 
the council made a reference to the reservations made by Mr. President regarding the section 84, subsection 2 of the new electoral act, and shares in his views. That section runs counter the provisions of the constitution of this country. In another development, the Center for Transparency Advocacy wants the Ninth National Assembly to vote in favor of elected mayoral assembly to make laws for the FCT. The Center says the move has become necessary as the National Assembly commences voting for the clause by clause amendment of some sections of the 1999 constitution this Tuesday. The Center believes that section 297 to 307 of the constitution be replaced by establishment of a mayorality for FCT. All right, to so politics, right, proper so different so support groups within the All Progressives Congress have uh, intensified campaigns championing, championing different parties towards for leadership positions in the forthcoming national convention. In all these inner jostlings, they say, uh, the progressive mantra is uh, sucked. We are here to let the people of this country and APC as a political party know of our interests. We felt it would be better as youth and women to stand and make this call. And that same man recently has been given a national assignment to reconcile the party. Our dear party, the Old Progressive Congress, must stick to the plan and ensure we get it right through internal party democracy. Since true democracy has it until that few may have their say about majority should have their way. Concerning Northern APC Forum, we complete our consultation tour of the 19 Northern State and the people are not expecting anything less from the party hierarchy. Jocelyn's for one candidate or the other, but uh, joining me is former deputy to publicity secretary of the APC, Yekinian Abena. Uh, nice to see you nice there. To see you. Uh, you it seems that since you have not, have not grown a day older, but that's, uh, who, uh, uh, that's on the lighter side. Now, March 26 is, uh, was, I mean, if it was uh, down to the calculations since last year, would have concluded the national convention last week. Uh, but uh, your party has said it's 26. Is that cast in stone now? Yes, yes. The party has given out their timetable time for, for the convention, which starts from, start um, from um, February 26, 26 to, um, to um, March, 26. March 26. So it's a one month term program. program. So at, that po so at, this, at point, this point, so activities so will start activities also with the zonal congresses that's going to take place from this from now till 12th of March. So so. We are with the party is ready. ready. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's you know, uh, before you come back to, you know, to, to, to a, a bit of uh, what we'll be expecting in the course of the, uh, you know, uh, month, on Friday, the electoral uh, amendment, amendment bill was passed into law by the president, and we have seen this, uh, elicited a lot of uh, reactions from the political class, as well as uh, the luminaries as well, as, you know, um, also, a party man, also a party man. do you think this has set the stage uh, for the 2022 general elections to start with? Of course, because immediately after that, of course, INA came out with his schedule. And of course, uh, when you look at the amendment bill itself, is it a game changer? Yes, you see, um, at this point, you know, the, uh, the electoral, uh, the bill, the amendment has taken a very long time. So, so. I find out that uh, the former that political party, party uh, like uh, PDP, uh, they didn't have the political will to implement it. But this but administration, administration have done that. Have done that. This, is all about this is all about the people. All right, so you, uh, are you saying in terms of, uh, you know, what is contained in there, uh, what we have had in the past, you know, post-election litigations, uh, adjudications and all that, have, uh, like somebody says, this now a watershed. We will have more clarity. Yes, yes, it's better, it's better than before. Than before. 
But the most important thing is that, thing is that the, um, the, uh, the agencies, the agencies in, charge of, in charge of the post-election, um, the post-election about, they, they should implement it. Implement it is very, very, it important. Is very, very important. But if you look at what happened in Enforce River, look at the violence from the PDP, how they were shooting guns and all that. Let's let's leave the allegations out of it. No, 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 we have Yeah, you saw it also. So we have to look, we have to look based on the electoral team. So those people must be, they must be punished. It's not only by just passing the, 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 um, uh, amending uh, the uh, uh, what's called uh, the electoral uh, hat, but you must but implement you it. Must implement it. Okay, let's come okay, back to your party since uh, uh, we, 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 we want to get to all uh, to the terrain very quickly. Uh, what will constitute, uh, what a, constitute a successful national convention for you? No, already now, we already, already we already have, we have, have the, uh, the, uh, the the subcommittees for the convention, for the convention which, is out. which is out. We have started. We have started, and the committees are started meeting. So we are ready. So we are ready. I'm talking about the DD. What will constitute a good constitute convention in terms of conduct? Of conduct? Is it about is issues it about of affirmation or uh, consensus, consensus? Or you want people to people perhaps to also test also their popularity? Everybody will test their popularity today. Their popularity today. Once the zoning Once system, the is out, system is out, everybody will go everybody to their zone to, 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 to test their popularity. Test their popularity. All right, uh, other issues uh, that we saw, we have to take one or uh, two one out of the stories one by one. Uh, people are also asking for more inclusion. At least uh, I don't know exactly how you are, but uh, you look like a, a people of the younger generation that uh, they should be put more into you know, elected positions apart, and also party positions. What is your position on that? Do you want more youth inclusion or uh, should we wait our The youth, the youth you understand that they don't just put you there. You must participate. You can't sit at home. Or, or on the street and say that you come and, and they, will they will bring you in and put you. No. The time has come for them to understand. For them to understand. You, must you must participate. So nobody, nobody will come and put you. Come and put you. All right, let's, let's uh, take let's a little pause, of course, and also see train, also train of, uh, uh, you know, people you still know, asking people about, I'm talking about, uh, about uh, the, uh, the convention, convention coming up earlier. We spoke with Honorable, with Honorable Utsman, Utsman Ibrahim, Ibrahim uh, of the uh, of MBU Dynamic, Dynamic Support Group. He joined us in the studio to talk about the national convention, and he says that all is set, perhaps agreeing also with you. It's already on the top of the and of course, the Hoff is the best convention ever conducted in Nigeria. Nigeria. That's the Hoff Nigeria. 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 of Nigeria. And we're seeing the, the tactics and the, 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 you know, the, uh, the set up the everything. By the grace of God, there will be a very successful national convention on the 26th of March. Talking about the chairmanship of the uh, party that has been zoned to is in the North Central. Um, and a lot of people are still talking consensus. Are you in that direction or you are thinking that everybody should go to the field and then we we'll see the best candidate? Well, the consensus is okay. That's what the, uh, the spin of the party that have already taken the act, taking position. And of course, we did have the support of that. Um, also, the contenders from that zone, I think they are, they are good to go. So I think, uh, let's, let's see, let's see who played the right politics. That's where we are now. 2022, two elections, off cycle elections coming up. And of course, uh, the process for the 2023 general elections around the corner. What will be your word to politicians at this time in terms of their uh, posture to elections, their conduct as well as we march towards those elections? Thank you. Nigeria is a great, great country, and I'm proud. And I'm proud. And we know ourselves, we will fix it, no matter the situations. We will fix it and we'll get it right. That's nothing to worry about. Uh, before we go for the third leg of discussions, uh, the Federal High Court in Abakaliki has quashed a suit challenging the defection of Governor David Umai of Ebony State from PDP to APZ. Delivering the judgment at the Federal High Court too in Abakaliki, the presiding judge, Justice Henry Njoku, explained that the case lacked merit and awarded 500,000 naira as damages against the plaintiff. Counsel to both parties in the suit speak. A governor can put any political party, even if it is a day after the swearing in, third December, we'll meet our clients. We interface with them, interpret the judgment of the court, and not the witness to take. The chairman of the APC and the commissioner for information in the state lauded the judgment. It has also gone a long way in letting the Nigerian people know that our judiciary is still very strong and can do their work without bias. For us, we believe.
see that the Lord has been tested and we have been vindicated. So we thank God that at this point our governor can now go undistracted. The doors raised by the plaintiff may not have settled if the plaintiff wants to appeal the judgment. But in the interim, Chief David Dumahi and his deputy are still at the hems of affairs in Ebony State. Watching, watching for our political uh, update on the 1st of March 2022, and of course, as we march on uh, with other aspects of the program, Ekin Nabena, former publicity secretary, deputy public secretary of the APCST, here with me. Is this how we go? Every time there's an election, we have the election or the pre election activities, the election day, of course, then we go to uh, the announcement, the certificate of return, and all that, and then we end up in the courts, every court. Is there any better there way that we can perhaps sanitize, can sanitize this, system this system that we don't that just always end, end up in court, for instance? You know, some you people know, from day one, they, want, they know that they're not going to win an election. election. They know that they just they want to head to court. Head to court. So we have those so kind of people. Kept something aside yes, aside, just, aside, just they, they are not they interested, are in interested in the election. In the election. They are already prepared that, look, my business is just to go to court. These are my documents I'm going to present to court and all that. So there is no way you can stop people like that because that is their own pattern of election. Okay? So this time around, the party is going to put up a structure that is going to be the screening aspects. It's going to be very, very, you know, if you look at the screening and all that, the kind of people you are going to put to the president, to the, president the, party. the party is going to be going a to thorough, be a thorough um, uh, 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 process uh, uh, this time uh, around. This time around. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Yeah. But, but yeah. Let's, but let's, uh, apart from the fact, okay, let's, don't, let's talk about let's talk which about party benefits or which one doesn't benefit. But this cross carpeting, the defections and all that, is, has, has this strengthened our democracy? For instance, for instance, especially when especially you look at democracy and politics from the position of ideology. Well, um, well, like, in, um, like um, in, um, um, in APC, in APC. Okay. okay, we've seen a situation seen whereby the, whereby governors, are the governors are coming. You see, you see when you, you can, can, you know, APC, APC governor, APC okay, governor, I accept, I accept uh, what you call, um, call um, Obasaki that, that, that left, and everybody knows what the circumstances behind that. But when you look at it, because of, if at the center, look at what APC, the administration is doing, and other governors, and other governors from other parties, from other parties they, find that, look, they find out that, look, this is where this I, is belong where I belong to. This is where I fit in to showcase to what me also I'm doing, doing in my state. In my state. Come on, what's cause that? that? Because some governors, because some governors are, performing, are performing, but they cannot but showcase they cannot what they are doing. I okay. okay. also okay. say that it's not about the individual or the group. No, of course, before you go start it, you cannot just do that. You have to talk to your people. Some were seen on the pages of newspaper and on TV. Some of their colleagues didn't even know. Well, let's move on. No, 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 you don't say that because they will talk. Okay, if they don't know, if they don't know, how okay will the, the whole of the National Assembly. I'm not talking about one party. Yeah. I'm talking about different No, I'm talking about APC, but I don't know about, about the others. All right, so, so, so we, we'll still come back to one more. Uh, former uh, Vice former President Atiku Abubakar says you should be encouraged uh, to compete for elective positions. He was speaking shortly after the closed-door meeting with former President Olusha Gumabasanjo, and he also said that uh, uh, the, one, the other ones are not, uh, not too old to run as well. Former Vice President and 2019 PDP presidential candidate Alhaji Atiku Abubakar was received by Chief Olusha Gomasojo and thereafter had a closed door meeting with the former president, speaking with journalists after the meeting on his presidential ambition in 2023. Alhaji Atiku Abubakar says he will soon make his intention known to the public while expressing the conviction that he will secure PDP presidential ticket. He explained that every Nigerian, irrespective of age, is entitled to compete for elective offices and advise the youth to join the presidential race. Have I ever failed to get the ticket? I'm confident. Let the youth compete now. It's competition. It's democracy. Former Vice President Alaji Atiku Abubakar later paid homage to Alaki and Paramount Tula of Ubaland, Oba Aridotun Aremubadibo, in its parlance for royal blessings and thereafter addressed some party members and leaders who include Chief Laji Adebutu at the PDP Secretariat in Abelkuta, Ogun State. 
Brothers, political brother Yekri Nabena is still here. We have a convention at the end of the month. We have two dates with destiny this year, talking about the off-cycle elections in Osho and Ekiti State. What would be your word for the stakeholders, as well as the uh, contestants in terms of uh, the rhetorics going to these elections, and of course the big one in 2023, now that the schedule is out? You know, first of all, I want to just say this to the, um, the APC, um, our faithfuls, the the lovers of the APC, APC, that they should come, they should, they should, should just they should keep just their calm. Okay? 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 The party is the party putting, is putting everything, in place. everything in place. Especially, Especially in, the in the area of zoning. Area of zoning. We've seen a lot We've of, seen uh, a lot of uh, circulation of the zoning, of zoning system. and system. No. No, the, party the party will communicate, will communicate to everybody, everybody appropriately and signed by, sign by the party, the zoning system. The zoning system. So, let so let everybody, you say you want to, you want to contest for an election, an election uh, party, uh, party election, election but, you but you don't even know what is zoned to, to your area. So everybody, so everybody should be calm and wait for the and party, for the to, party make to make that pronouncement so that you know what is being zoned to your zone, to your so that you can now so go in for that, um, for, that um, for that position. Uh, for that position. So, I'm so, I'm just telling everybody, everybody uh, APC that lovers, APC, APC members, members, they should all they should just, just be calm for now. Calm for now. Any moment any for any now, moment the party will release the, 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 the zoning system. system. But for now, but what for is going now, on now is the um, the zonal offices. So, the zonal leaders are going to meet and come up with the zoning system that will go across the different states. So, after the zonal offices, then we will now come back to the convention. Let everybody be calm and wait and for the party, for the party signed, signed by the secretary by and the chairman of the party, of the party. not, uh, not uh, just a uh, plain uh, uh, piece of paper flying around the flying internet. Around the internet. So, party so party members should, uh, should, uh, should have their decent. You didn't quite answer the other one about uh, the elections that are coming up and in terms of the conduct of you know participants in general. Now, when you look now, like um, uh, Oshu uh, State, you can see that um, the leaders have started meeting. Like today, like today um, the, um, the, the Tinubu and, and the, what's, what's called, uh, Lucin, uh, the, 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 the third meeting. meeting. So, so definitely, definitely we know, we know for, APC for APC that we are going to win Oshun State. And you, you seem to have, uh, you know, converted the questions just to your party. What was it? Well, I'm talking about my party because we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are I, I will not speak for PDP in the first place. I can't speak for PDP because I cannot tell you that PDP is going to win APC. That is the, that is the program for today. Yes, I cannot tell you that PDP is going to win APC. the program. And you are also watching on the Network Services Nigerian Television Authority. Don't forget to get hooked on the Nigerian Television Authority for your news, reviews, previews, and interviews. My name is Yusuf Mufi. It is an election, election, election year, a general election year. Next, next year, two, year, two election two dates election against this year. Don't, this forget, year. Don't forget to play your politics, play your politics for the greater good. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.